Hey everybody, so this is our last FRQ prep question. This one's really about supply and demand. So it says the market for bananas and muffins are related. And each market is perfectly competitive. In the market for bananas, the equilibrium per price, quantity, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, suppose the government imposes, let's see what that is, let's zoom. Suppose the government imposes a price floor on bananas at $1.20 a pound, causing the quantity supplied to increase to 1,500 pounds a week. Would the price floor result in surplus shortage neither show using a graph? So for this question, we're gonna to have to graph and we're gonna to wanna to put the numbers on the paper. So we're gonna make this graph nice and big so we can see clearly, right? I have students who sometimes draw their graphs too tiny. Draw your graphs nice and big, right? There's no shortage here of paper. Make a big graph, okay? So demand and supply, okay? And now this is gonna be the price floor is for bananas, right? So I'm just gonna write this here so we can keep track. Bananas, right? And the equilibrium price of bananas is a dollar. It tells us that in the question. And the equilibrium quantity of bananas is a thousand pounds. And so the government price floor is at a dollar twenty. So we just draw a label here and we say dollar twenty price floor and it causes the quantity to go up to 1500. Now, we know that not all of those bananas are gonna get purchased, right? Because at $1.20, some smaller amount of bananas is demanded. And so part A, there's going to be here, QD, there's going to be a surplus. And that actually shows it using the graph. Now, B says bananas are an input for muffins. Draw a correctly labeled graph of muffins indicating price quantity before the imposition of the banana price floor. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot that up, assuming that you have the questions. So B, demand and supply. And it says P0 and Q0 are the prices we're supposed to be using. So P0 and that's kind of a zero, sure, and Q0 um, before anything else happens. So that's all you really have to do for, for muffins. I guess we could put the word muffins here just so we know what we're talking about. And then it says on the graph in part C, show the effect of the price floor in A on the muffin market, um, labeling the new price and quantity. Now, here's, here's the important part, right? It says here, bananas are an input for muffins, right? Bananas are an input for muffins. And what happened in the banana market? The price went up. So if input costs are rising, it's gonna be more expensive to make muffins, right? Input costs of nanas went up. So we'll say, therefore, supply is gonna decrease. So we're gonna shift the supply curve to the left. That's a decrease. And we have to label it with Q sub one and P sub one, and we say price goes up and quantity goes down. So hopefully this helps you. I'll see you next time.